Hello friends. Let us see today how we can paint droplets of water in watercolors. But before we pick up our brush and lay it on paper, it is necessary to understand a little bit about what droplets of water are. You are probably well aware of the phenomenon of reflection and refraction of light. The equal and opposite image of an object in water is called reflection and the phenomenon of bending of light in water that is transparent objects is called refraction. Now here is a photograph of several droplets of water on a leaf blade. As you can see light hits the droplets from the top left side, passes through the transparent droplet and leaves it from the right side. If you observe keenly, the green color of the leaf blade appears a little raised, occupying the top portion of the droplet, making it look green and in fact just a little darker green, although the droplet is transparent. This is because of the phenomenon of refraction. So although it may seem little illogical, the side of the droplet facing the source of light appears dark. Now each droplet also carries a tiny highlight spot. This is because some amount of light falls on the curved surface of the droplet and bounces back, creating the highlight. Further, the light leaves the droplet of water from the right side, illuminating the right side. So although it may seem a little illogical, the side of the droplet which is away from light appears bright. So in short, the side of the droplet which is facing the source of light appears dark and the side of the uh, droplet which is away from the light appears brilliant or bright. This is all because of refraction of light. The droplet as a whole casts a mild shadow on the side away from light, that is on the right side. So after having understood some of these facts, let us now see how we can paint this droplet of water in watercolors. But we will do this in another video which follows. Thank you very much.